viewers. There's Cal here. What we're looking at is uh, Nikola Tesla's patent for his transmitted tower. You can see on the patent it says apparatus for transmitting electrical energy. And here's another shot of... This is how we came to the logical conclusion that he didn't need the transmission wires. You can see he went to single wire transmission from transmitter to receiver, which is essentially step up and step down transformers. And then to this. I'm building a Van de Graaff generator at the moment and I keep seeing people put up some interesting videos about wireless transmission of power so I thought, ah, I have a play. So what I've got here is this large um, capacity hooked up to the ignition coil, hooked up to a triple five timer circuit off the battery. And over here we're working on the receiver. We've got a bridge rectifier coming off the primary side. Using this thing from an earlier experiment. Here's the elevated capacity. It's well insulated there on its standoff. Okay, there's the elevated capacity. It's about nine feet from the elevated capacity of the receiver. Okay, we hook up the transmitter. I need to use these tongs because I've got zapped because the capacity is so much more with the um, dome on the top. Okay. I'll show you what kind of potential is coming off the dome. This lead goes to a ground stake. And I'll just show you the spark. Okay. Now to the oscilloscope. There's the signal we're seeing. Here's the voltage on the bridge rectifier coming off the primary side. There's no connection to this device at all. There's not even a ground wire to it yet. You can see we're getting something there. Okay. Now we haven't even tried to tune anything up yet. And I haven't even grounded it. Hang on, let's throw the ground wire on there and see what happens. Okay, that's millivolts DC. Here's the ground wire. If I touch it to the primary there, DC millivolts comes up to 160. I take it off, 118, 120. Attach, 160. And you'll see the waveform on the oscilloscope changes dramatically. That's without it attached. That's with it attached. Okay, now the transmitter's off. Here's our baseline, it's sitting at minus two millivolts. You can see there's there is a little bit of a skip on the oscilloscope, but nothing like the signal we saw. All right, I guess the next step 
is to put a capacity across here and tune it for maximum response on the oscilloscope and then we'll tune the transmitter because I've got an adjustable frequency here which we haven't even touched. So now we've put a capacitance on the primary side and we're getting 160 millivolts without the ground wire. Look at the signal with the ground wire attached. The transmitter's off. seeing 180, 200 then, bouncing around a lot. And now we've got that signal superimposed on the ground wire signal. See if we can have a closer look. Thanks for watching.